Hello and welcome to YouTube channel Health Q, the place where my mission is to motivate you to look at the brighter side of the hill. In today's video, I'm going to talk about my favorite electrical modality and that is ultrasound therapy. Friends, I love ultrasound therapy device. If somebody asks me if you have the choice of just choosing one electrical machine or its modality to treat your patient, it's going to be definitely ultrasound therapy device. I don't know why. From day one, from when I started my clinical practice, I'm in love with this particular machine called as ultrasound therapy device. And I'm going to help you understand what is this machine and why it is helpful and what it does and how it helps. So if you want to understand about what is ultrasound machine, make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's begin. Friends, basically ultrasound is nothing but sound waves. The sound waves which are of so high frequency that they are of that they are beyond our hearing capacity. Depending on the frequency of ultrasound, the use of ultrasound wave is determined. And the ultrasound units that are used in physiotherapy practice are the ultrasound which are a frequency between 1, 1 megahertz to 3 megahertz. Depending on the frequency of the ultrasound waves, its use is determined. Ultrasound is used for multiple reasons. It's used for diagnostic purpose, it's used for therapeutic purpose and it's also used in other fields uh, of uh, which is non-clinical or it's non-medical. Traditionally, ultrasound therapy in therapeutic setups is used to manage musculoskeletal disorders or else the conditions that are related to joint and muscular pain. The reason why ultrasound is helpful is because of its therapeutic effects, the way it helps or else it affects on the physiology of our body. With the help of ultrasound, the tissues can be repaired or else it helps in the wound healing that happens in the internal tissues due to repetitive stress injuries like plantar fasciitis, tennis elbow, frozen shoulder, bicipital tendinitis, etc. Ultrasound therapy also is helpful in increasing the extensibility of the tissue. It helps in increasing blood flow. It helps in removing the calcium deposits. It helps in reducing pain and muscle spasm. And it is also used in delivering medicine to the subcutaneous tissue which is not possible by direct application. This particular method is called as phonoporosis and is my absolute personal favorite. Now there is a device which is called as ultrasound device which has a transducer head. Inside this transducer head there is one particular thing which is called as a piezoelectric crystal. From this piezoelectric crystal alternating current is passed. When this crystal gets this current there is release of acoustic energy which is transferred by one molecule to uh, to its neighboring molecule and there is an exchange of kinetic energy because of this high frequency ultrasound is able to pass the current but this current cannot be passed without electric without a conducting medium it cannot pass on air that's why there is a use of a gel and medium through which this acoustic energy can be transferred. The output of this frequency that comes from this transducer head is measured in megahertz and this describes the number of waves occurring in one second. So for example in one second the number of sound waves that are moving or is coming out of that acoustic head determines the, uh, determines the output frequency of the sound wave. The commercial ultrasound therapy units that are available mostly are of, mostly are of 1 megahertz, 2 megahertz and 3 megahertz frequency and the depth of penetration is inversely proportional to the output frequency. The lesser the output frequency, the more deeper is the penetration of these sound waves. But these sound waves cannot penetrate bone and that's why they reflect from there. When, they, when the sound wave passes from the transducer head and goes inside the tissues and reaches to the bone, from there the sound waves gets reflected. This creates more of micro massaging effect and micro heating inside and thus helps in healing process. High frequency 3 megahertz provide treatment to the superficial tissues compared to a machine with 1 megahertz frequency which will provide heating to the deeper tissue. The uses of ultrasound is basically to help in reducing pain due to multiple musculoskeletal disorders ranging from cervical spondylitis, back pain, mechanical low back pain, sciatic pain, uh, uh, SI joint dysfunction, knee pain, plantar fasciitis, tennis elbow, etc. 
the use of ultrasound device is vast and it is very effective. Ultrasound not only helps in reducing pain, it also helps in easing muscle spasm, encourage healing process from the internal damage to the soft tissues and also helps in administration of medicine like polyne gel or its analgesics basic. But there are a few contraindications of ultrasound therapy as well. Ultrasound should not be applied on any metallic implants which are present in the body. It should not be applied over an open wound the wound from where there is pus or blood oozing out or else any kind of fresh cuts. It should not be used over an area which has got impaired circulation. Even the people who have got poor thermal regulation and them also, ultrasound therapy should not be advised. People with thrombophlebitis or some sort of neoplasm or cancer should also stay away from ultrasound therapy. So friends, through this video, I, I hope through this video you could understand about this machine. If yes, make sure to like this video, share this video and do not forget to subscribe to HealthQ channel. I'll see you in another video. Thank you.